Guys, it's time we told you what's going on with the whole 240 thing on this channel. If you've been following our channel for a while, welcome back. If you're new, what's up? My name's Nick. I have a 2003 Evo 8 that's been tuned up a little bit. We're not quite finished with that yet. I'll get back to that in a second. And my co-host is Ish. Uh, he's actually on his way to Disney right now. So he'll have fun down there, I hope, anyway. He gets to go to Florida when I freeze to death. I see how it is, bro. I see how it is. But all that aside, um, if you've been following us for a while, then you know that we have had a number of 240s on this channel in the very short lifespan that we've had. We had our two red cars, and now we've picked up our gold one. We've sold one of the red cars to a fella up in Connecticut, which if you're watching, I hope it's going okay for you. We've been left with our gold car, and it's had an overheating problem, so we've been in the process of relocating the battery, getting a new cooling system in place. That way we can fit other little odds and ends in there, like potentially a turbo kit or maybe even an engine swap. So the go car has been kind of stuck on the side because it's been really cold in Virginia and we don't have a dedicated garage where we can just lift the car up, do stuff and be done with it. We don't, we're doing this on jack stands in a driveway because we're not Adam LZ. It's a sad life. But moving on, that leaves our other red car, which was our red coupe, which actually hadn't been touched or worked on really at all. It kind of sat there. It originally was supposed to be our parts car for our other red 240, which was a coupe, but we ended up running into more issues than we could handle at the time, which is why we had to let go of our one red 240. I believe those were 92 and 93. Our 93 is our hatch, our 92 was our red coupe. That said, I'm happy to announce that our red hatch has been sold. Uh, we sold it to Will. You guys might remember him as Viking Metal, the dude with the huge beard, the motorcycles. Yeah, it's our man. He bought it off of us. Uh, he's gonna be working with us on our other uh, 240, so, you know, it's gonna be like a nice little equivalent exchange, you know, kinda, here's a car if you help us build ours, <laughs> kind of thing. So that's what happened with the red uh, hatch. It's so hard to keep track of hatch and coupe, especially when you're running on no coffee. So I apologize if I trip on my English, it's gonna get sketchy. Back to our gold 240. There's a number of stuff that we wanna get done. Again, we've already installed the new radiator. We just have to fill it and bleed it or burp it, whatever you wanna call it, as well as test our new cooling system before a KA normally comes with a clutch kit fan where with the rotation of the engine, there's this fan that's constantly blowing with it because it's attached to the engine. We're now using a separate fan system, two fans, uh, which I believe are pulling air in, if I remember right. I'll have to ask Ish, maybe I'll leave a thing here. I don't know. We still have yet to put on our coilovers that we bought from Fortune Auto. We also have some sway bars. We have a front subframe brace, power brace, if you will, from Street Faction that we'll be showing off later on this season. We've also got our entire brake systems getting changed out. We got Z32 fronts that we're gonna get put on as well as just stock OEM Nissan 240SX rears, new rotors, new pads all the way around. We're still figuring out what we're gonna put for the front pads now that we're changing from one caliber to the other. So we'll get you up to date with that once that happens. I just figured we would make a video talking about what's going on with the 240s because sadly, it's been a while. It's been a long while. And on top of it being a long while, Evo what's going on with it. Uh, brakes finally have been broken in. Yes, they're still being a bit noisy, which is unfortunate. That's just kind of the nature of the beast on those things, so we'll work around it. But we've also got the potential for other things down the line with this car, such as more aero kits. I'm talking with somebody right now 
about possibly trying to restore the old Evo wing because I still have it among other things so stay tuned for that there's definitely gonna be power mods on that car in the future in the very near future such as cams fully built head head studs and all of that trying to tune up and boost some more as well as changing out our intercooler uh, piping system for one that is less restrictive and shorter so we get boost a little bit faster that said i hope you guys are okay with us doing this type of video every now and again just to get you up to speed with what's going on with us again ish is going to be out of town for the next two weeks so it's just going to be little old me for the next few and uh, i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys stick around for what's coming up next again like i said evo mod is coming up actually next episode because we got a new piece in the mail i'm really excited if you guys saw my personal instagram you would have seen that it's a rather long box i'm not going to give away what it is exactly all i know is that it's going to be fun trying to install a piece on the car that i personally have never installed before and it's an exterior mod so yeah wish us luck on that one otherwise god bless you guys thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't and check out our other videos as well we would appreciate it greatly. And peace. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh God. First time back on this beast since November, right? Or maybe early December. Something like that. It's been a minute. It's been a brick, as our youth kids would say. <laughs> so many towels. We need to stop buying towels. I don't know what you're talking about, man. We don't need towels. What are you talking about? We don't need towels. It's a brand new roll of towels. <laughs> ah, I missed. <laughs> Score. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's a roll in there. Are you kidding? Did we buy like a five pack or something? No, I don't even remember. Every time we go, it's like, oh, we need towels. And we buy one every single time. Yeah. <laughs>